Good morning. Um, we're awake. We've had breakfast. Yeah, we're just taking a walk now down to the meeting place for the coach. We're heading off to Auschwitz. Had a walk around. We just got on the coach, and uh, yeah, just bumped into another couple, and they're in the next room to us. Come from the next town to us, which is a bit weird, isn't it? So yeah, we're on the coach now, getting ready to go to Auschwitz. Bad little coach trip, about an hour and a half was it? Yeah. About an hour and a half coach trips from uh, Krakow and uh, we're now at Auschwitz. Um, there's an awful lot of people here, uh, masses and masses of coaches, but uh, we can use film inside, we can take photographs and we can video, so I'll video what I can, uh, where I can, around people, and uh, yeah, I'll take you inside and show you what's about. There's two areas where I can't use videos, two areas where we can't use cameras. Um, I'll try and explain where they are as we go round. Um, yeah, that's all I can say really. So we'll take it from here. We're gonna go and get something to eat quickly or drink and a uh, toilet stop. And we've got to be back here at uh, quarter two. So it gives us about 15 minutes. So you can see the gates are behind us that way. And uh, yeah, we're on site. So I'll catch up with you in a little while. Thank you. 
crazy place, uh, very morbid. We've got a guide and we're listening to her for our ears. Uh, she's explaining everything as we go around. So obviously you can't hear, but I'm listening as I'm photographing. It's a massive, massive, massive place. So.
we've just been in building four. Uh, had a, a good commentary all the way through the building, and uh, I've been showing you some video. We're now going in uh, building five, so I'm going to stop talking again because you can't talk and listen at the same time, and I'll make a lot of noise. So I'll chat to you again when I come outside. just come out of another another camp house and uh, as you can see it's full of shoes and uh, brushes and their belongings there's only one room we couldn't photograph in there um, and it was hair and they used they cut off all the hair off all the women even the men and they used it for making furniture and carpets and stuff like that and there was no cameras or video or anything in there which is understandable because it's real human hair so it's pretty sad um, but anyway we're going to carry on and see see what's in the next one and uh, keep taking you on the tour with us if we can
and I've just been down to the basement and just had a look at some cells. Weren't allowed to take any photographs down there, but it was all the prison cells where certain prisoners were locked up. Uh, some starvation, some uh, no food, some darkness, some made to stand up and stuff like that. Not very pretty at all. Um, I'm just going to take you now and spin you around, and this is the wall where the prisoners will come out and shop. Um, and the wall's still there. see there <clears throat> that's the wall where where they were lined up and shot so that really does bring it home to you that people were actually stood right next to that wall and uh, chances are the bullets are still in the wall behind it so yeah that is a sad place This, this site we're on, I'll uh, probably show you a photograph or two. Uh, there's a picture of a map and I'll pop it up now for you. And on the picture of a map, you'll notice down in the bottom corner, um, I'll put a little arrow pointing to it. That's uh, the, the building we were in earlier on. That's the camp we're on at the moment. And if you look at the big camp up the top, um, you'll see it's absolutely huge. We're going there later on. And that's probably four or five, maybe even 10 times the size of this place. And this place is massive. But they do on the tour. They show you quite. They show you a lot. Um, it's not a fun place to come to, but it's definitely interesting. And uh, it's history. And I think everyone needs to come and have a look at this. I really do. Right, these rollers, uh, there's two rollers outside here and they used them for rolling out the, the rolling out the what? Rolling out the paths, but they were also used to Rolling out the paths uh, and they get uh, people to do them and they also roll them over people as well. And these are part of the gallows, as you can see here. There's the gallows. Uh, the longest takes 18 hours to die, so. This is, quite harsh stuff.
Right, we're just about to go into the uh, one of the gas chambers, which you can see there. That's a gas chamber where people were stripped naked and taken in and never came out alive. So that's the chimney. And we're just having a chat at the moment, or just listening at the moment, and then we're we'll going inside. It's just been through the gas chamber as you can see and on the back of the gas chamber they had the um, crematorium. Uh, I took a couple of snapshots in there, hopefully they come out and show the desolate of the place, the horror of the place I suppose really. Um, and I've just seen another photograph I want to get so I'll just flip around and uh, take that. I think we're making our way to the exit now. Uh, I've lost contact with my guide, I can't hear her anymore. You can see all this barbed wire behind me. So yeah, this is a, it's some trip. Uh, I think you ought to come and see it. I think everyone ought to come and see this. It's, uh, it's real and it's, uh, yeah, it's real. It's not the sort of place you want to come and take photographs, but I think I felt the need to do it. Uh, just to take some, uh, put it down in my bucket list of places I've visited and again they've opened it up to the public for that reason so uh, yeah it's, uh, it's an interesting tour and we're yet to see the other place now, uh, Birken House I think it's called uh, and we're heading there next so uh, what do you think dear? Mm. Mm. Right we're going to shut off now, contemplate what we've just seen and uh, Maybe get a coffee. Hot dog, ketchup, mustard? Yes, yeah. Just had the hot dog and a coffee and uh, back on the coach. And we're just waiting for the last few stragglers to come on and uh, we're heading to Birkenhau. So uh, as long as I can take the video with me again, I'll uh, take you along and uh, show you the other, the other site. Which is an awful lot bigger than this and a lot more outside, I think. So uh, it'll be different. It looks like the wife's got some crisps. <laughs> Oh, as you can 
team, your coat's back on and we're out the coach. That was a a short one. And as soon as I get on the coach, I only just about drunk my coffee. It was literally just around the corner, probably a, a mile. Lots of crow flies. Um, <coughs> just making our way up to the gates now to meet our guide. And then uh, I'll take you around this camp. guide this time she hasn't got the earpieces so we're just working on uh, word of mouth and trying to keep up with them uh, it's a quite a different site this is uh, it's very open and a lot of wooden barracks rather than brick so we'll just try and keep up and snap a few images as we go around uh, we're running on full auto both me and Denise are of course she's miles in front we're running on full auto because we just don't get time to think um, so you just have to keep the camera on auto I think the Fuji's keep up quite well so uh, let's see what we can get out of this place and uh, see if we can tell a bit of the story for you. That's the conditions they were in. Bruce. Um, just an important thing to remember about this place, Birkenau, is that it was actually built by the prisoners that were transported here from Auschwitz. So And these were stables, weren't and they? And these were it was these were used for horses, I think. Yeah. Well originally. some of some of it was. Um but then it was just used for for prisoners and I think the majority of them, I think it was forty thousand women who were kept as prisoners here. So pretty harsh.
guide was just saying that um, the latrine nearest nearest the video, nearest the camera, uh, is loose, and uh, some of them had to go down inside and clean it all out afterwards. So again, another pretty harsh uh, harsh situation. If there is such a thing as a harsh situation on top of the situation you're already in. I think we're going now down towards the gas chambers, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. We're going that way, down towards the gas chambers and along the train lines. saying she was listening to the guide earlier on she was saying that this concrete hard stand you can see there that's where they were all dragged off the trains sorted uh, and then uh, going off to the gas chambers and which ones are strong enough to work so if you were on that train that was it
that and there was also a big star families. So nature always wins. This area behind us, as you can see there, it's all demolished and blown up. Uh, gas chamber number one. Uh, they basically walked all the people, all well, the Jews and that, down underneath, turned right, went underneath the ground. Uh, they all thought they were going to the showers because all the showers are still down underneath the ground there and there's no water connecting to the showers. So they were all led in, assuming they were going to get showered down. Uh, doors were shut behind them and then cyanide. Uh, 20 minutes and uh, it was all over, but 20 minutes is an awful long time to choke. So. I think we're heading back to the gates now. Um, our part of the tour is over, and uh, that's Auschwitz and Birkenhaus. Birkenhau. 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 Um, done. So I back this on. If you're watching this standalone video and you haven't watched the video that I sent the link to, um, we're actually in Krakow or Krakow at the moment. So uh, at the end of this, if you want to follow the link on the end card to me Krakow video. Um, this was done standalone for them that wanted to watch it and uh, I didn't want to involve the people watching me crack video and make them subject to watching this because it's a personal, choice. a personal choice yeah so uh, thanks for watching this I hope I brought a little bit home to video uh, showed you the insight this has been a bit of a different trip for us today um, but I'm quite sure Paul in Paul's images that he'll have done it justice if that's the right word um, but more about respect and, and honouring the memory of people that were um, murdered, murdered basically got rid of and just remember in memory of them yeah in mem just memory of what they went through and what they endured um, yeah I'll speak to you all soon ciao
can't really do a video without uh, showing our tour guide or our tour manager. Uh, this is the guy that found us in the street this morning. Hi guys. <laughs> and he's the one that doesn't drive the bus. <laughs> so yeah, nice job. Thank you. That's David, by the Please. way, Dave. Not very Polish sounding name, is it, Dave? <laughs> no. <laughs> but he's got a Polish, Polish surname. <laughs> yeah, it's pronounced David. David, Polish, David, yeah. there you go.